Linda McEvan, as the uh, chair of the uh, Development Committee, 2015 is set to be a very exciting year for you, as far as I understand, because it's the European Year for Development 2015. Can you tell us a little bit about that, please? Yeah, well, it's the European Parliament's idea to make 2015 the European Year for Development because the EU is the world's biggest donor of, of development aid. Last year, we were over 60% of world aid came from the EU and its 28 member states. We know there's public support for that measure. About 80% of people say they think it's a good thing. But when they're asked, only 50% of people say they know anything about what the EU does. So I think it's very important that um, we raise public awareness of what the EU does with its development aid, where the money goes, and also that actually there are some very, very positive results from that policy. What do you think will be the most important areas then as far as international development is concerned during 2015? Well, it's going to be a very big year because people might have heard of the Millennium Development Goals, goals set in 2000, which actually come to an end in 2015. Now, those goals were very effective. We've seen the numbers of... Most of them were achieved. We've seen the numbers of people living in extreme poverty halved. We've seen 2 billion um, people have access to clean water. We've seen millions of children um, not die from, from diseases like malaria. So we have done huge progress in the last 15 years. But in September this year, at the United Nations, the world community will come together again to say what should replace them. I mean, we need to make sure that the next 15 years also leads to progress for development. That it's not something we did as a one-off in the millennium, it carries on. And that's something we're working on and that's one of our priorities for 2015. So if you can tell us a little bit about the global climate change talks, because I believe that's a part of your work as well. Yeah. I mean, we have um, people know about the problems of climate change, but climate change is not a future problem. It's a problem that's already affecting people, particularly people in the poorest countries. There are parts of sub-Saharan Africa where they have no rains, and that, that drought, those problems are causing tensions already, and they cause conflicts, drive conflicts in some of our poorest countries. And so we have the UN talks on on replacing the Millennium Development Goals, but in Paris in December, we've also got the Global Climate Change Talks, where there's great hopes this time that we'll get a global agreement on climate change. And in my view, poverty will never be history unless we tackle climate change as well. And so that is also a key priority for 2015.